So you want to go ahead and kick us off? Uh, sure. Um, welcome to Vakla Mini Meat 31. 31. I, I can't believe. believe that. 31. 31. We're getting older. This makes, um, this month has made five years yep. that I have been coming up here and sharing my stuff with Bill. And as you see, we've got a gaggle of stuff to go through. Like we've got a lot to cover. So yeah, this is probably going to be a relatively long video. <laughs> so I've got seven machines that Thomas has never touched or used before. And he's got three, well... He's got a, a machine and then some parts and whatnot. So I'll let him uh, do whatever he wants to do first. Okay. Um, well, I'll probably just start from left to right and work my way up. Okay. Well, do you want to do you want to start the front or the back? I'll start in the back. You want to start in the back? Okay. Yeah, I'll start with these. Well, we need to um, clear some stuff. Yeah, out, clear. So. We need to clear some stuff out. We need to make make some space. Yep, we'll clear yep. out a little bit of space and we'll resume on camera. Okay. push and yep. like just there with it are. off mm -hmm. it's lightweight nothing okay then you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do all righty well back on camera yep. um we're gonna fool around i'm gonna fool around with this um relatively cheap hoover it's not like the top machine it's not the lowest it's just like in the middle like yeah budget friendly but something a little bit better than like a like that little best the Bissell power force you see by the dozen yeah, sure. So, uh, power switches down here. I'm used to them being up here in the yeah, handle. I know. Like I figured, lightweight, easy to use. Right. Yeah, I mean, this thing is a fairly new machine. It's It's got that new smell to it. Yeah. It's and the amazing thing was, it really just needed cleaning. And if I'm remembering right, probably a belt. Maybe this one's one of the ones where it didn't need a belt, but in any case, I mean, it's it's like it's brand new. People just abuse their machines yeah. and throw them out. Like, nobody wants to take care of nothing. But yep. it's... Use it until it stops. That, that seems to be the, the way to do it these days. Just use it until it quits. Easy to push. Easy to maneuver. Yep. I mean, I'll just plug her in and fire it up. It's nothing. Yeah. E quick, quick go-to machine. Yeah. And it's got a what is it came with? Now this was a curb find, so you never really normally get all the tools. So I think this is just missing a dusting brush, and of course it did come with the wand. Yep. Uh, but everything else is fine, and I think it, the blue and black um, theme is is, is very good. It, it's oh, very yeah. it's a handsome machine, and I just I can't detect really anything wrong with it, other than what was in the refurbishment video. You know, when I picked it up, uh, probably a number of months ago now. Ellie would definitely like it because it's yeah. blue. And I've got it. I actually have this machine in slightly different variations with different colors. I got a red one. Yeah, there's all kinds of them. They make so yep. many of these Hoovers right here. They're they're really not a, a bad vacuum in my now, opinion. Now when you're when you're done with one of the plethora of machines, go ahead and roll it all the way back to the white Yeedy. And then we'll stack them up back there. Yeah, these little cheap Hoovers are really they're not bad vacuums at all. I mean, if yeah. you're on a budget. Um you wanna do the little dirt devil? Yeah. The the super duper lightweight cheapy that's like a seafoam green. Yeah, these, oh gosh, Dark Devil over the years don't even get me started. Their quality has just went downhill so bad. Like, I just remember when Dark Devil was built, like, in the USA, they were built to last. They didn't break. They weren't cheap. 
direct air machines. So, oh, this thing here is just like a one finger lift. Yeah, it's it's very lightweight, and the wand. Um, well, part of the wand is the handle itself, and it, it detaches. Yeah. And stuff like that, yeah. That's like the Bissell Power Force that you have that, um, yes. the second one. Uh-huh. Yeah, the newer one. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have the height set right? It's, it? Oh, it's grabbing. I can hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The height, height was, um, I think it was too low. That? No, now it's not grabbing at all. Yeah, Never mind. That's, so it is. Yep. That yep. was perfect. Got a new one. Yep. Yeah, that was there perfect. Yep. Position two, medium pile carpet, nothing. Just, just nothing. One finger. Well, two here. Yep. <laughs> and it's not quiet. <laughs> no, this isn't quiet. <laughs> yep. It's like a. It's got. Sounds like a cow or something. It's like moo. I think this one needed a belt. I do so many of these, I can't remember. But I believe this one just needed a cleanup and a belt. Now, for all you uh, new viewers out there, I have probably well over 100 playlists, heading towards 200 playlists. And if you want to see more about any one particular machine here, um, it's already been featured before, and you can go and find its own playlist. Lots of vacuums. <laughs> yeah. You ever, new viewers out there, you're gonna have a, uh, you're gonna have a bench fest. You know, there's almost. If you consider yourself a vacuum aficionado right or now. collector or, you know, whatever you want to, you know, decide that you are relative to vacuum cleaners, you could never pay for a single vacuum cleaner. You could just walk around, you know, your neighborhood <laughs> and find something. Dump Put a belt on it, declog it, dehair the brush roll, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. Um... Go ahead, pick gonna, whichever order you want. I'm gonna do the. Well, probably save the Prolux for for last. Yeah, because it's, I'm gonna. Yeah. Try this. Oh gosh, this is super light. Yeah. Like, th this is the lightest stick back I have ever. Yeah, it's it's very light, and it's got an unusual feature. Now, viewers, this is a stick back that is not available in North America, so I'm not really supposed to be showing you this. That doesn't mean it's going to be available in North America. It's just that at the moment, it's not available in North America. And the unusual feature it has is bin one, bin two. It's got an upper bin and a lower bin. It's just, yeah, it's kind of weird. And why, when you use this machine, the lower bin fills up first, or mostly fills up first, and then it starts filling up the upper bin. Let's try yeah, this there's out. no trigger on this one. So it's got a trick way of turning it on and off and adjusting the speed. So you go ahead, push it, hold it. There you go. That's it. It's so quiet. It is. It is the quietest stick back I've ever heard. Now this has a low and a high speed. I won't tell you where the magic speed button is. I'll let you frustrate yourself and see if you can figure out how to change the speed. This little thing just glides across the car, but it's so tiny. Like, it's not tiny, it's just, it's so light. Like, it just, just it's like butter. Yeah, very, very easy to push. That's a good guess, but yeah, that's just on and off. Yeah, it's a touch speed control on the back of the battery. So tap it, goes high, tap it again, it goes low. And the only problem is where it's so lightweight, yeah. this little head just kind of... Right. It just takes off on its own. It needs to have a... It, that's my biggest complaint. It's too lightweight. Yeah. 
well, it's hard, you, to, hard to steer in a direction that you think you'd like it to go in. Now, if you go a little bit quicker, it's not as bad, but when you're vacuuming soil like I do, always do, like this, you know, it's okay, but when you're just kind of yeah. playing with it, it just kind of, it's wobbly, but you can actually see, I did not touch that. Okay. You can see a little bit of dust going in that bin right there. Right. Um, and this one up here, it's got a little bit in it. Yeah, that could be a remnant from a previous yeah, test. Yeah, like a remnant yeah. of a test. I, this is the first time I've touched this machine, so I've never seen it before. But Yeah, so the company is Aremo, and they haven't decided if they're going to bring it to North America at this point in time. Uh, it stands upright by itself. It is fairly stable. It really isn't that wobbly. There you go. And if you want to, say, do like a quick empty of the lower bin, yeah, you want to you'll want to grab it and then you touch the button on the top of the bin. Not not there. That's the one actually. There. Okay. So you, that bottom bin just pops off, and you can just drop it on the carpet. And we'll vacuum back up again. Poof! There it goes. We yeah. just dirty the carpet. You see the cyclone assembly? It's yep. got a. I don't know if this comes off up here. I'm it, not. It, it should. Uh, I believe. I believe this one twists. I'll let I Bill think. do that. Is this a twisty? Ah, so this one here is. Yeah. What you do is you take it and twist it inside. Yeah, you twist it inside. Yeah. So there is a twist, but you just take the actual inside out, put it back in, twist it, and then hook it. I guess that would really then, help you click. save on um, filter yep. life, like that one would get dirty before the upper one, so your yep. filters would stay cleaner longer. It's kind of like a extra cyclone assembly, pretty much. It's like a bag for a bag, and yeah. there's no adjustable wand height. If you want to shorten it, you can't lengthen it. That's as tall as it gets. If you want it's, to shorten it, you have to take pieces off. It's pretty tall, though. It is pretty tall, though. Yeah, I, didn't have a a I think it's a reasonable height. It wasn't a problem for me. You know, I'm five foot eleven, so you know, I'm a tall, pretty tall person. Uh, I've got this N C. Yeah, N C, N C, whatever. It's the, in the the budget stick back category. This one was unusual, and you saw this. You can see this in the playlist, in that. They advertised it as a tangle-free brush roll, but it doesn't have, <laughs> let me make sure I'm, I'm saying it correctly here, let me look at it. Yeah, it doesn't have any fingers on the um, the rug plate area. It, it has no fingers to, to comb the hair, but yet it still gets the vast majority of the hair into the bin and not wrapped around the brush roll. So I thought that was kind of cool. and see if you can figure out how to turn it into its other speeds, because I think this one is a three speed. Yep, there's high. It should start out on medium. It was, no, it, no. yeah, it was on medium. Now it it's on have high. Dots. It should have some dots on your screen. Your face yeah, it's do. on high. Okay, so it's got three dots. You can feel it suction cupping a little bit. Yep. It's down to low. Oh, it's just... It goes way down. It's just, like... It's just... <laughs> smooth like butter. Once again, it's like, you know, it's like when you go down them low, low speeds, the head on it just kind of doesn't really want to do what yeah, you want to. It's hard to drive. Yeah, it's hard to drive. Now, with this being a fixed angle, I'm actually comfortable with this. And the feel of it, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's really not that bad. You know, I'm not yeah. a stick back kind of guy, but I don't, yeah. this is not that bad. So, I could definitely, this I would, the, this I would use. By your left foot there. Your left foot, your other left. <laughs> Goodbye. There it is. Well, um, so I gave you about a year and a half ago, your, I guess, Zoker. personal stick, the stick back is Zoker. So uh, tell the viewers what you think of the Zoker, because you've had it for almost a year and a half, I think. I use it all the time. It cleans my linoleum in my house. It cleans my, 
I use it to clean my dryer vent. Um, I use it to clean cobwebs off of my ceiling. I've cleaned my ceiling fans with it. Um, my air vents. It comes in real handy just when I just need to do surface cleaning. But you know, like when I need to like clean my carpet, cause I'm a, I have carpet. Of course, I'm gonna dig out my rainbow or. Uh, well, you recently got some thicker medium pile carpet too. Yes, I did. My carpet yeah. was really extremely low pile. It was cheap trailer, cause I live in a trailer. Yeah. Crate carpet, it was junk. And then I got the, um, I got a thicker, higher grade carpet. And it's like, it's like, it's more than medium but it's not shag level. It's like a medium high. Yeah, well, at least it's a medium thick. Yeah, it's yeah, like it- Certainly medium thick. When you okay. vacuum it, it fluffs up and it just feels super Did fluffy. you wanna try, you wanna try the, the problem child and get that out of the way or do you wanna save that for later? I'm actually not gonna to touch that because okay, Bill right. has not done, Bill has not done refurbishing it. Um, well, actually I am done refurbishing it, but the thing is, is I don't know really what it's going to do. Let me try to run it on carpet. I do have a HEPA bag in here, but the thing is, is um, the video I just posted this morning um, showed me, you know, cleaning everything up power nozzle wise and getting a big, uh, you know, hair mat out. The thing is, is I don't know if it's going to survive running on the carpet. I think it will briefly. But, um, you know, we'll see. I want to try to put this on the airflow and suction box um, before it goes kaboom, if it indeed is going to go kaboom, because right here, this is where it's, it's cracked there. The, uh, the clamshell is, is cracked, and that's why it's sitting, you know, kind of weird. I think I'm going I'm to pass on okay, that one. Okay, all right. Just, I'm not, I'll let you fiddle with it. If it okay. survives, I'll yeah. do that the next time I come up. So, this right here is a gift bag of goodies for Bill. Uh, I bought okay. a lot. It came with the rainbow. Yeah. Rainbow mate. Rainbow mate. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. That's great. I don't need. Well, he got a he got a super um, thrift store score for yeah. like twenty bucks. It was amazing. Uh huh. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, yeah. This right here, you clean out your dryer vent. No, it's a conductor wand. Yeah, you know, one, two, three, four, one. Yeah, two, yeah. That's, it's a conductor wand. Tell you people your rainbow. This is the that's cover. Nice. This is the cover you put on the front of the rainbow. It can go on any rain. Like it can yep. go on I, any of his. I, I need one because I'm missing one cover. So yes, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, you may have. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. This little itty bitty guy here. You want to play the balloon? <laughs> okay, so they're trying to do the the Kirby thing, yeah, with the uh, inflator deflator, that kind of deal. So that's okay. that's it. That's wonderful. I'll pull that out. And this is this is actually going to be great. Getting in those super tight spots. This is just like a giant long straw. So I think that's that's a riot. What I want would like to see. I'm gonna put this here. I would like to see you actually use that and clean even if you on your Kirby whatever, clean your dryer vent out. Well, I've got. I mean, not only that, but you know, I got to um, clean the bottom of my refrigerator. That well, yeah. that's actually what that's mm -hmm. for. It's for dryer vent under the yep. refrigerator. It's a they say a coil cleaner. Right. And I also have, if you remember, many moons ago, I got this. People with, who's been around. Prolux. For... Yes. So, so this can go underneath things. It, it's, it's flat, and it can actually go underneath um, like a washer, dryer, refrigerator, that kind of thing. And that's uh, more flexible. It's floppy. Yeah, it's floppy. Well, as you see here on camera, I have got a... Burgundy, pink, red, something. I don't know what you want. In the color, in the light, it looks like it's pink. At my house, it looks like it's red. Rim, sometimes it looks burgundy. He has got the bagless version. This is the bagged version. There's also a, which this machine's been on his channel before, a bagless high performance that I remember you testing that you was really fond of because it was a, it was one of the highest airflow yeah, bagless. Yeah, at, at the time, I was really surprised that it, what, it beat like 70 plus, 70 Yeah, CFM it was right up there with your Recar. Like, yeah. It was like, it was right below yeah. that Recar, and that's a bag machine, so 
and he did like under the carpet flower test and sand and it was picking it up. So, um, this vacuum I have shown off on my channel. If anybody has watched, um, I have not used it very, very much. Now, what do you got in there for a bag? The Bissell Style 7 that goes to almost any bagged vacuum. <laughs> Fits anything. Missing a bag? Try a Bissell Style 7. That's a great fit. Yeah, I mean, look, that's a, that's really, that's a, that's a great fit. And, it, it, you know, the Style 7 has, should have a rubber uh, seal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's a HEPA bag, too, so. Yeah. Uh, it's wonderful. It's generally just your all-around bag vacuum. That's the height that I have to use on my carpet right there. Oh, five? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, obviously, yeah, yours is... I mean, little... you can play with it and see what you get here. I, I, four, I think, probably is... Let me see what I use my other one. Um, yeah, it's that middle position in there. That's how my, like my carpet where it's got higher pile, I had to go clear up to above medium... That's it. That's a clean machine. So, I, I forget. Um, how did you obtain this one? I bought it off Facebook yard sale. Um, okay. All right. I bought it off Facebook yard sale. It was some old man that had it, and he didn't like it. Okay. He said it. He said he thought it was. He quote unquote said that he felt like it was like shredding his carpet. It, <laughs> I it was like that. he <laughs> he was shredding his carpet, and like he said like it. He didn't like the way it maneuvered and pushed, and he didn't. He totally did not like it. I even still have the box that came with it. Wow! I so got he just bought it and played with it and said, "Okay, yeah. I'm done with it." I've got all the pieces to it. I've got the this hush puppy right here, which these things are very powerful. The ones with the fins, that is, not yeah, the ones yeah. with the brushes. This thing here will right. hurt your hand. Um, I've got everything with it. It's like almost like a brand yeah, new. You got the little dusting brush too. Usually those, you know, go south. <laughs> it's like a brand. It was practically like a brand new vacuum. The hose right here was totally clear. Yeah. Well, it's fairly clear now. So it looks it looks like it's in great shape. Yeah. Powers right up. Nice. I don't have a problem with this. It's on medium, right in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle. I'm not having one problem. And when I'm done, I'll have Bill test it even yeah. himself. Yeah, doing it's doing great with carpet lines. It don't need to be. It's perfect at height. Yep. It don't need to go any lower, no higher. So I'm gonna let Bill see yeah. what he thinks of it. And it's got the power button where the power button should be, up the top of the handle. It's got the brush roll where you can turn it off for yep. hard floors. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is, this is wonderful. I'll fix up the carpet a little bit. Um, yeah, that's, that's nice. I would say that's probably Comparable to your Hoover wind tunnel tempo, Y-Path, whatever. The super Chinese cheapy as he calls it. Yeah. I would say that's comparable to it. Maybe not like exactly the same, but... Nice. Okay. Oh, you gotta go back there in order to... Back. Up we go. Yep. And there we go. That's actually what I vacuumed my house with right before I came up here. Yeah. I vacuumed last night with it. It's got a bag indicator right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There, it's got some suction. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. It we needs need a little grease. lubrication, that's all. It's, I you know, we can used, actually fix that. <laughs> I haven't used it that much, and that's probably why it's right. like, Ugh. Yeah. Needs a little lubrication. Oh, here, um, give me my suction gauge. It's right behind you. Yeah. Let's, let's see what it does. Okay, here we go. I'll just call it out. 70... I'll say 75. 
Well, that's also got a dirty bag in it, too. Yeah. So, I would say if it had a total clean bag, probably close to 80. My guess. So. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a great machine. And if you still want this style of um, brush roll here, that's eh, going to be moderately aggressive. It's... But you want a bag? Yeah, I've always thought these machines actually look uh, pretty sharp. So I think the bagless ones look sharp too. But if you want a bag, this is definitely a great way to go. Start bagging when it yep. fills up. When it fills up, or you start to notice some performance loss, just yeah. take it out, throw it away. It's like kind of like a. It kind of puts me in mind of like an auric. Like, you just throw it back in, vacuum, take it out, throw it away. Easy put in. It's not like a Kirby where you got to fiddle with it and stuff. Like, in you know, Kirby bags, you guys unzip the outer bag and fiddle with them. Make sure they get in right because don't Kirby's. Like, if you don't install the bag right, the airflow can be, like, tempered Well, with. the bag could blow off. But I think they really, I think Kirby really solved the, the bag problem by the time they went to um, the, the F connector. Mm-hmm. Where it's just, you know, you you rock it in from the bottom, put it in, you know, put it in like this, and then flip the little uh, cardboard tab over, and then, you know, you're you're yeah. done. It, and it's solid. Once you hear the click, yeah, you, should the, be in, you should be in great shape. Um, now, next up. Next. This is another, this is another gift to Bill that I gave him. On to the Rainbow Story. Here's my golden, awesome find from Goodwill. A 2012 Rainbow E2 Black. That's not the newest model, but it is the... Uh, got a light in it. Yep, it's the one with the light. Woo, it's got a light. And I will take this machine over the uh, SRX yeah, any day. Yeah. The SRX can kick rocks. I've watched some videos on the machines. They clog easy. The nozzle has zero suction. Has literally zero zero sealed suction. The the nozzle on bare floor came and pick up sand. Yeah, it's they, they lowered weak. the airflow. I just, they've raised the price. They increased the efficiency of the machine by lowering the power draw from I don't know, I'll say like fifteen hundred watts down to seven hundred and fifty watts. And when you cut the power draw like that, there's going to be a sacrifice somewhere. And uh, yeah, the power nozzle cleaning performance just just died and you know that came out toward the end of what was it like 2019 mm -hmm. so the thing is this is you know more than three years later and now it's actually well known that the srx is uh quite an overpriced disappointment i know there's going to be a couple people that uh, like them just because it says rainbow but i'm just especially on this channel i'm not big on a brand just because it has a name on it i yeah. want to see the performance like really honestly after you refurbed my 89 d4c and the power nozzle and everything on it i would take that older machine even over an srx yeah with your 9200 rpm brush roll yeah massive why oh, they yeah, got... actually go ahead and plug it into the power meter oh okay. yeah we, we can go in and we can check the uh the power usage Let's see what that says um i'm gonna mention real quickly too before we get started these power nozzles are different in their own way even though they look very similar they are a tiny yeah. bit different but i'm gonna power the machine up and i'm gonna let him do some power ratings okay so here's low see them lovely air, lights air. right there how pretty oh yes that's it so in air cleaning mode we are drawing 29 watts yeah, we're at 122 volts today. Half an amp. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was like... Well, like, leaving less than that. Yeah. Now, let's go to ha. Okay, here we go. I saw a peak of 1,900 watts, and it's upper 900s, maybe 980, and that's without the power nozzle. So, it's a little less than 1,000 watts. Yep. That's great. I, I always did like the uh, the light in the bowl. Of course, you know, we're, I got all my studio lights on, so it's not... Uh, I love this. Um, here. Let, me, uh, let, let me turn the studio lights off so we can see the light in the bowl effect. 
plug in real quick. One more. There you go. It just sounds so smooth yeah. and that's its own light. Alright. Let's turn the lights back on. Alright. Now let's discuss the power nozzle differences. This is mine and I have a one piece hose. I don't have the split ones like this one here i have found out because my aunt has the same exact machine the wands right here right here leak like a sift i don't remember if you remember when we tested my aunt's machine we went from 80 cf not 80 cfm 80 inches of water left clear down to 64 like down at the end of the wand and we could well, hear remember, air. When we put it on the box, you could hear. Tsh, yeah, tsh, that. When I put the tsh, tsh, suction gauge on there, yeah, there was massive uh, air airflow bleed. Well, the thing with this this power nozzle here is, I have a version that's an aftermarket version that has the pigtail cord, as you can see here, that comes runs down here, comes all the way up, and I plug it in. This setup right here is what you will get your really high airflow and performance out of. Higher airflow, I should say. Um, here is the difference between the, the nozzles themselves. Oh, you know what? Let me go, I'm gonna go back to portable here so I can get, I can get close. As you can see here, center belt, yep. side belt. Center, and then side. Okay. In late 2012, they made a revision to this power nozzle and put the belt on the side. And also on the main unit, this one does not have it. They put in a, a red little light like right about here near the air inlet, that's like an emergency shut off. Like if you ru snag a rug uh, in okay. the power nozzle. So it'll shut off the PA. Yeah. Sure, and then turn the light red. Yeah. Saying clear the obstruction. Yep. Yep. And I think that's like, this power nozzle I think is a phenomenal power nozzle. It, the saw brushes, the, um, Rainbow has just really gotten creative with their machines like as far as like user ability now this one obviously you have to take the cord off then unhook the hose to use your attachments that one you just flat out remove it there's no cords it's all built in yeah they're all internal yeah. and both of these are still called the pn12 yeah the pn type 12. okay so there's not like a a b c d or mm. revision one two three four or something i mean even obviously there's a difference between the two well, there Rainbow is like, doesn't actually call it out in a model number no. or revision number. Now on like rainvac.com or on a vacuum, they do list it as revision one, revision revision two. Okay, yeah, because they got You got to buy parts, you know. Sorry. I have never. Let me see for a second here. There's. I just want to take a close look. Yeah, I guess I don't see any numerical differences. Mm. I have never turned this power nozzle on. Okay. So I guess I'm going to... Maybe we'll it'll be a fixer rubber. Yeah. But anywho, this here is going to go to Bill for his machines. He's been looking for this particular power nozzle. Yeah. And where I have this machine here... To fix I'd, that one that he donated to me a number of years ago. I have no use for this. I don't need it for nothing. So let's give her... Let's... Oh, oh, well, yeah, <laughs> it just goes on. Nice. Oh, it works. Yep, it's doing its thing.
Of course, it needs some cleaning. It's a little well, bit. Yeah. Ram. Yeah, it's hot. Eat, eat that carpet. <laughs> It's almost pulling itself. Like, it's really aggressive. Oh, gosh. It needs... It needs... Uh. <laughs> yeah, the smell has hit you. Yeah, it needs... It's been in... She said the person... They said it was um, a woman who had it in her basement. Yeah. Maybe it flooded. That, that's just such a common thing. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't, but yeah. She bought it, and then she got rid of the carpet in her house, and then um, went to hardwood floors, and this went in her basement, so. See, this is the only nice thing about it. This right here. Then, of course, you got the one in the middle. Hear that? You can hear airflow leakage right here. Yep. I can hear it all the way over here. So that's why I don't like that split wand system. I don't like airflow leakage. I don't want airflow leakage. I want all I can get. We're back. Yeah, we're back. And now uh, Thomas has to figure out how on earth this Prolux, go, the Prolux goes together because it's, it's a little bit different. I suppose the biggest, coolest thing about it is this power nozzle. So it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's quite nice. So this it's the is, EBK 360. This is the lightest motor unit I have ever lifted. Yeah. Now, one thing you notice about why I put the bowls there is because they are different. So this is the standard bowl for a Ray Nabo and it holds a two quarts. This yeah. one is the standard bowl for the Prolux and it holds three quarts. Ooh. Ooh. This reminds me of a D4. Yes, I wonder why. Very, very similar. Does it have an orientation? Um no, yeah. no, it, it doesn't. Uh -huh. So you can put it whichever way works, which is probably that way. That makes the most sense. So it, it slides around in there. There's no, uh, there's no tabs or anything. Yeah, it puts me in mind of a D4. Like it's like a, a modernized one. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. <gasps> Red lights. Yeah, so it's got a red light, it says power. Now there's a huge playlist on this machine. If you've never seen this one before, please check out the playlist, it's extensive. I go over everything in excruciatingly oh. painful detail. Yes, so this, just like the D4, has no kind of filter anywhere, uh, not on the exhaust or anything like that, and it just blows out all its exhaust air. You know, which is a uh, water washed, right? It smells so. It smells like water. It smells so yeah. fresh and clean, though. It's like. Yes. It so smells it, like just. Oh. Uh huh. Well, it's like a humidifier because that's exactly what it's doing. So that dude should be like a push and a twist and a line the arrow kind of thing. Yeah. Once you once you figure it out, you'll you'll get it. I didn't get it the first time either. Uh, yeah, we don't it doesn't have to be. I didn't want an error, but it's in. <laughs> yep, that's fine. That's fine. It's in, but it's that's not in. aligned. Okay, good enough. Yeah, you got the little hidden power port there. Come on, get in there. Uh, come on. Yeah, you gotta you gotta wiggle it. Until it there, oh. there you go. That's it. Okay. Good shape. Yeah. That's on low. That's quiet. <laughs> now we're cranking. I'm sure I got that in right. You 
may have to see if I did that right. Okay, all right. I tried. Sure. I, I think you got it. It's just a, just a, a push and twist. So, yeah, goes in there, and then you just twist it until... Yeah, that's it. No, you had it right. Yeah, you absolutely had it right. Good shape. Okay. There we go. Whoa, this goes up really high. Well, I mean, put it to whatever you need, Mr. 511. About right there. Yeah. Eh. There we go. Yep. There, there. Just, okay, just take off by itself. Oh, yeah. It didn't turn a button on. Pew! Yeah, that's that EBK 360. <coughs> world uh, world renowned brush roll. <laughs> Heavy duty agitation. Look at the. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's manipulating the carpet. <coughs> it just. <laughs> it's yeah. a cover carpet! It's attacking it. Listen to the bristles in the, the carpet. Well, um. Yeah, it is a monster brush roll. With reasonable, I wouldn't say totally reasonable. Yes. Totally reasonable, but with somewhat a little bit of airflow and some suction and this aggressive brush roll, it's just kind of... The carpet says, run away. <laughs> wow. It would be great, personally, if this had uh, a little more CFM, but, um, you know, that's the, the price you pay for the water filtration and whatnot. And the Prolux isn't, uh, you know, 13, 14, 1500 watt unit either. Yeah, it's like, like, yeah. a little, so there's like an extensive nine. playlist for this. And I think the, uh, air, the sealed airflow is like 57 on that. And I'd like to see, I'd like to see maybe 75. I think that would be cool. You don't want too much on it because then it's too hard to push. I would even be, I'd be comfortable with 65 even. Yeah. But yeah, about set. It needs at least seventy. So I mean, it's a, it's like a ramped up D four. Right. I don't remember. Here, let me let me check the suction at the end of the hose. I don't remember what this one was. Let's see. About 62, 63. I like it. I very well like it. And it's, it's got a height adjustment, so it handles all type of floor surfaces. Low pile, medium pile, high pile, you name it. And it's got attachments. Oh, it's attachment yep. rich. Yeah, it's got lots of attachments, lots and lots of attachments. So, yeah, big thumbs up. I, of all the machines I've tested, favorite. Yep. Of course, I'm a rainbow person. <laughs> you know, oh, big shock. So, that's, um, I am going to try out his little miracle. Mur miracle. Now, that is a, a wet floor scrubber. So we're going to have to run that upstairs. Have a little fun. Yep. I love having the uh, freedom of wireless mics. <laughs> it comes in handy. <laughs> These are wired. Well, well the is, mic um, is wired, but the... Uh, this right here we're is... not wired directly to the camera so yeah we we have here so we can walk around and we don't have to hold anything on our hand you know on our right. hands and whatnot trip over more even more wires you know that kind of you know one of the weirdest things that, that i just want to i want to point out on this is if you go to wind the cord up i mean where do you put it it just has a top hook 
I mean, that that's all it has. It's just it's just a top hook to just hang it. I mean, it's okay, yeah. right? It works. I mean, let's face it. Um, I don't think the D4 always had a cord caddy. Mm-hmm. Did, they, did they all? I mean, even since the beginning, you know, like mm-hmm. 1980. All right, well, great. So the D4 figured out what to... The D3 even had one. The oh, D3 had a cord caddy. Oh, okay. Well, well yeah. Yeah, Rainbow yeah. managed to figure out the uh, yeah. the the cord hanging uh, conundrum, I guess, because this just kind of hangs, and it's all right. You know, it, honestly, it doesn't really fall off that easily, but it would be nice if, you know, they, they did something else with that. But yeah. But that, that's what you got. At least you don't have to wrap it around the unit. And I remember for some of yours, we, we ended up wrapping it around the unit. Because mm-hmm. I didn't have a core caddy. Yeah. I was missing the core caddy, but when I got my grandparents, they had the core caddy with theirs. So yeah. I managed to um, use their core caddy. Okay. So well, I'm going to swap with you. And let's see this Kenmore Intuition. And then we'll, we'll go up and we'll we'll use that miracle in a minute okay. i will so sit. this this does not sit this stay way. up on its own so if it falls if the back falls and it goes kabam well i warned you <laughs> yeah bill decided i yeah. said i'm not touching it i will let him fool with it <laughs> see what kind of power usage do we have here this has um a powered brush roll motor itself it's got a separate motor in there Okay, I'm looking and I'm seeing about 1,200 watts without the brush roll motor going. And you probably can't see this, but it's got a green clean indicator in there. All right, I don't know what that's going to do. Stay together. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn the whole thing on. Are we going? So the brush roll is not activating. Uh, and the motor needs some bearings. All right. There we go. Okay. Brush roll came on. All right. Stay together. Stay together. <laughs> uh, about 1,300 watts total. Ugh. Yeah, it doesn't... Uh, what do we got here? So I put it on high. Yeah, medium seemed to be a bit much. But remember, this machine is broken right there. I'm not hearing a whole lot of airflow when you go off the carpet. There's a little bit. But I, I have hear, two Kenmore Elites. I can hear on my end. Okay, I can hear swooshing. It's not, it's not that great. Yeah, it is grooming the carpet. I will say that it is, it is grooming the carpet. And the entire time it was running, the green clean indicator was lit. Oh. <laughs> it should be. This carpet's probably the cleanest carpet in the world. Oh, let's see. Can I wind this up without it going kabang? So I think it. I think it's a, a handsome machine. It's pretty nice. It's a uh, side bag load. Huh. I mean, just just something to do this different. I think that's the only side load bag machine I have, if I'm, if I'm remembering right. So that's that's the way it is. I've seen another model intuition. Oh, you know what? I want to I want to check something else. While I'm here, don't move. Don't move. Don't fall. The similar model intuition I've seen, it had the side door like that. It wasn't quite the same as that one. It looked different. Okay. So let's check the suction, shall we? And it's also got. Let's see what does Kenmore call it? The pet handy mate. And I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this because you know what? I didn't service this and um, it's uh well it's got a bunch of hair, it needs to be removed. So let's see, what do we have for let's see, I'll just do this. 
but can I, all right, well, I guess I gotta here, take that out, remove that, put it back in there because I don't want it right now. All right, here we go. Ooh, wow. Check bag indicator pops. It's like mid seventies by the time it pops. It'll, it'll, it has more um, suction than that, but you know it pops. So let's see. <laughs> this isn't moving at all. <laughs> they broke it. This isn't moving at all. Yeah, it's totally stuck. <laughs> okay, nothing. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so this probably has well over um, 80 inches of lift, and it's got plenty of airflow, at, at least from here. Um, but the, uh, the PET tool is, uh, is totally jammed up. And I think we figured that out um, the very first video, uh, video that I made with it. Uh, let's see. Let me put that back together. It's a slightly awkward machine to use and whatnot. I think it's... I think it's got some potential. I want to put this on the airflow and suction box and just see what it measures, such as it is. But I just, I can't see me putting a whole lot of money into it. Oh, come on, Bill. Let it go. Throw it away. Yeah. Not every or... stray needs a new home. Yeah. Well, I've got two Elites. And they work pretty well. One is one is near perfect. The other one just has a a Kim really and a Hoover lower elite. hose assembly that needs to be. Um, I wonder if those connects them. Did the what connection? I said I want if there's a connection. A Kim Worley, a Hoover elite. Yeah. As Rose Nolan says on the Golden Girls. I wonder if there's a connection between Jewel and Jewish. Is that what she said? Yeah. Then Sophia says, I think there's a connection between your brain and wallpaper paste. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that was entertaining. Okay, so now we need to go upstairs so Thomas can clean my linoleum. in here where it doesn't fall over. All right. Okay, don't go anywhere. All right. So we're going to reconvene upstairs so he can use the miracle floor scrubber. Woohoo. Woohoo. Yeah. Back with the Rainbow E2 plat or black, not platinum. That's a platinum. That's a gold. This is a black. Yeah. You know what, honestly, let's get them all solid. Let's get them all lined up here because we may not be able to get this in for a while. Real quick. Oh, I'm not set up for any of this. Oh, you're fine. I can do it real fast. Okay. I can do this real fast. No problem. I got you. All right. I got you. Here we go. Gold, platinum, black. Three... All E2s all have the same motor, two speeds. That's just over the years, of, a course of 2006, 8, 2012. Those are the years on the machine. So, you know, not a whole, whole lot has changed. Yeah. Just kind of got a little better, which is tweaking the machines here and there. But let me put these back up. Okay. Bill is going to do a suction and airflow test with my black. Let's see, are you going to have a good view here? Okay. Uh, a little bit of glare here we're fighting. All right. I'll read the, uh, see, is it better this way? Yeah, okay, it's a little better this way. I'll just read it off to you. Okay, here we go. High speed. High power. Alright. That's a good 
seal. 84, 84. Yep. So we hit, we hit 84. Okay, great. Now I gotta figure out how to go and get this in here. I need to tape it a little bit, so it'll take me a minute. You have an adapter piece. I do. I actually don't want to use that. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I, I will. Uh, I will tape this. I do have an adapter piece, and that will give me. I think it'll give me a, a good indication, but I want the best indication. The adapter piece is an adapter, so I won't get the maximum. Oh. Yeah, and I want to get the absolute maximum, even if it's only another, you know, three or four CFM or you know something of that nature something like that. So let's see. So go ahead and crank up your calculator. I should go ahead and tell the camera too, when I found this machine, I found, well, I found all, it came with all the attachments. It came with the floor brush, the, flo the motorized floor brush, and uh, the unit and the power nozzle and everything. It came as a whole. Yeah, that's just That's just phenomenal. I would have given you 20 bucks for it easy. And I'm not, you know, the, the biggest rainbow fan in the world, but, you know, I've got four of them. Well, you know what? The Goodwill store says they have been seeing a lot of rainbows lately because people are switching to hardwood floors and they're throwing them out. And, like, they're getting rid of them. And I'm like, I would never pay uh, over $2,000 for a vacuum and throw it out. I'd find something to use with it. You know, but that's that's just what people yeah. do. They spend tons of money on a vacuum, and it goes to the curb. Then that's how Bill gets a hold of them. Yep, that's that's right. Okay, so here's this. So here we go. I will. <laughs> I got to turn this back on. It timed out. All right. So Max, we're set up correctly. Let me start it in low. Let's see, that's the mm -hmm. low. All right. So let me start in low. And we're looking at, let's see, maximum, and it would be nice if I did, there, feet per minute, that would be cool. Okay, so our maximum feet per minute is 551. Now that's on low. So go ahead and take 551 times 0 0.026099. Zero Zero two six zero zero nine 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 nine, and you get fourteen point three eight CFM. Okay, so yeah, not quite. Well, low low fourteens. We'll, we'll say low fourteens. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's crank it all the way up. Let's just clean the air. Yep, just clean the air. Thirty five. 3600 I'll give it another minute Okay, looks like 3602. So 3602 times 0 0.026099. 94. 94. 94. 94 exactly. 94 exactly. Okay, so there you go. About 14 when it's in air cleaning mode and about 94 um, when it's in maximum mode. And you said you had something about the filter. Oh, the um, the exhaust filter. It'll be easy with that. Yep. I don't want to break. Yep. The exhaust filter, I don't think it is a, a genuine HEPA, rainbow HEPA filter. I think it is an aftermarket. It's just one. I had it in my uh, collection of parts and I just threw it in there because the rainbow, excuse me, um, the filter that was in this when I got it from Goodwill was disintegrated. It was like, it was, <laughs> gone. It was gone. It was just gone. And um, I think if I'm not mistaken, if I put a genuine filter, I think I would only gain like three CFM, whoop de doo yeah, something something small and suction wouldn't really change. So, yeah. yeah, this is great. I mean, for twenty dollars, this is a this is a real bargain. My platinum that I have, um, my platinum is the highest airflow I have seen out of a Rainbow E2 model. It got ninety-seven, like it was like yeah, like ninety-seven. Yeah. So that's like the 
that's the highest I have seen personally with a rainbow CFM at the air inlet. And that was with a genuine filter? I don't know. Yes, yes. It has a genuine filter because I remember you cleaned it. Ah, okay. It was the filter that was already in it. You, when I loaned you my machine years and years and years ago, I remember you, I have an extensive memory. Mm. You um, took your uh, G4 and took it out and blew the air, the, the massive dust out of it. Then you soaked it and quick dried it. Ah, okay. And um, yeah, it was. A, it's a. It is a genuine rainbow filter. Sorry, people. I keep stuttering. I'm mm -hmm. Porky Pig. Um, it is a genuine rainbow filter, and it gained. It let the machine get three CFM more. I don't. Not enough to be like. Yeah. So, the one that's in it will be just fine for me. I don't care. Right. I will tell you folks, I'll go ahead and let you all know, this rainbow here makes my sixth rainbow that I own. I've got two 1980s, a D3 and a D4 from the 80s. I've got a D4 from the 90s. I've got two 2000s, E2 one speed, E2 two speed, and I got 2010s, E2 black. So I've and got- And the one with the best airflow is? The platinum. I thought it was the E21 speed. Oh, yeah, the E21 yeah. speed. I think It was I, a trick question. I thought you was talking <laughs> about like the E22 speed. Yep, the faster or the the best uh, CFM best airflow for any rainbow that uh, I've ever tested is the E21 speed. Take and the, that's that's fantastic. And you take, know, it still has a uh, HEPA exhaust filter. Uh -huh. Yeah. Take the filter out of the exhaust, though, you get Kirby level CFM. Well, I don't think you go there. 127 well, Kirby's 150. Yeah, an Avalier, but I'm talking yeah. like a G345. Right. So that's like that's, well, yeah, I that's, guess I guess it, back in time, if you go back say in 2000 or something, yeah. Of course, yeah. the Kirby has it at the nozzle, uh, and, kinda, and and this has it right here, which it doesn't translate right. to the nozzle. But yeah, that that's that's still fantastic for. A, a clean air type of machine. Yeah, that's that's just like unheard of. Air inlets. Yep. Yeah, the E2 one speed, um, I never use it. We refurbished it. Do yeah, have work got the bearings it. and all that. Yep. I've used it one or two times, maybe. I just, mm. it just sits there. I like my, I like my platinum, and now that I have the black, the platinum is probably going to get retired. It's the bearings in there kind of. A little sketchy. A little bit. Yeah. They're a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Nothing like major, but. I'm gonna start using this one, but just cause of the lights and the yeah, this got is the, the lights. The five wheel dolly is it just yeah. maneuvers so much All better. All hail the lights. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It almost looks like a little shot back. <laughs> okay, Rosie, you're, you're gonna have to scoot, girly, girly. Oh. All right. Okay, so now we have the Miracle F1. Thomas is gonna try it out. So this is the one that kind of you know boil the water, so to speak, disinfects the water. So go ahead and pull out the very long vertical tube and go ahead and fill it up with water. Um, I don't know, I recommend probably something like lukewarm. Yeah. They don't, they don't really say, you know, what to put in there, but uh, you know, hotter water usually cleans better because the molecules are moving, so. Well, let's do like a medium. Yeah, yeah just, you know, lukewarm something. Just not dead cold and not melt the plastic hot. Mm, yeah, about like what it is right now. Yeah, something like that, sure. Like right in the middle. Uh -huh. You remember the uh, videos at all for this thing? Uh, yes, I do. I remember the light turning blue, the water like would start bubbling. Yeah, that was pretty wild, pretty exclusive. Okay, that's good enough. But it was like, it was the blue white that it had. I was like, ooh, pretty. Yep. A selling feature, to be sure. Okay. Right, fantastic. Okay, on the butt, yep. front, power. Mm -hmm. Gentle mode. Then go ahead and rotate through the modes.
fine, I'll wait. Yeah. There it is. Desterilization. Yeah. Wait. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. They even have to use a Chinese um, accent. Well, that's where it's made, so that's the accent you get. I guess please. they couldn't find anybody with another accent, so please that's use suction only. Well, so we we like to use it on Max. It seemed to work very well on Max. Oh, okay, so, way well. We... So let's see. What do you got now? Okay. I don't know what mode that's in now. I mean, maybe it's just regular. Gentle mode. Gentle mode. Okay. Crank up. There you go. Boost mode. Okay. That's it. And now it's doing its thing. Actually, I'm gonna start. I got a little system. It's kind of like okay. a. It's kind of like how I vacuum. I don't ever go backwards. I always go forwards. All right. Now, it just literally took off by itself when I pushed the power button. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The mop in there uh, grabs, certainly does. Uh, I gotta take my shoes off. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't walk on. All right, well, uh, your socks might get a little damp. I just can't do it. I can't walk on the floor after it's been mopped. Oh, okay, all right. That's the West Virginia in me, buddy. Now that rare on the um, seal, that was pretty dirty right through there, and this really just it yeah, didn't stand it right up. Yeah. It didn't stand a chance. Dirt didn't stand a chance with this. Now on boost mode, I notice we're already down to ninety four percent. Yep. So battery life. If you got like a large amount of linoleum like massive amounts, this will probably, you'll have to recharge. Well, it'll do, we got, what is it, 220 square feet right here in the in the uh, kitchen area, in the hallway. I'm thinking that this could do, um, of course, this whole area plus at least half as much more, even on, even on boost. Of course, you go in eco, it's gonna do, you know, a lot. Let's get under the table yeah. here. Now it's also going to be using, um, you know, a lot of water too, which, which is a good thing, but that's a kind of a relative thing. Um, there's not that much water that actually goes into the tank, so it does not leave your floors super wet. No, I'm walking on with my socks, and my socks are still like, mom. I don't feel any wetness on my feet. Yeah. And of course, what I like about your tile is the head wise is the same width of these squares. Oh, so I that? can use that as like a little system to mop with. See? Yep. Same size as the squares. So when you get done with one row, go the next one over. Now we come back over here to this side. Woohoo! All over the place. I never know where he's gonna go. I'm old fashioned. I don't have one of these. I've got a mop and a bucket. And pine saw. Not pine saw, pine saw. It's like the granny on the Red Hot commercial. I put that bleep on everything.
Now with this mop, you don't even have to dry vacuum before, do you? Um, technically, you don't have to, but you know, I think all mops work better when they mop a floor that's uh, clean per se. That is, uh, it doesn't have debris and dog hair and rocks and you know pebbles and, and yeah. whatnot. So actually, what I did was um, it cleans was better. Last night, I went ahead and used a stick vac on it. I think I used a musu. And I got up um, a handful of debris off of a couple hundred square feet of this stuff. Was it my favorite S2? Uh, yes, it was. It was the white one. Oh. Yep. He used my favorite. Yeah, you can see the, yeah, the, the, the sheen of the water a little bit there. You can see the where he has like a yep. wear and tear mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It, well, it, it's old linoleum, so... There's going to be some uh, wear and tear, to be sure. Hey, like I've always told you, for your house to be as old as it is, it, it's hardly aged at all. Oh, let's see. How much water we got? Looks like we got about a third. No, about a quarter. Maybe less. <laughs> a little hard to see. Anyway, we will be running out of water soon, and we will be ready for the first dump. Well, this area here, I'm going to go a little bit slower. <coughs> of course, it's kind of hard to go slow with this thing. It just, like, it just goes by itself. Yeah. Bill should be so proud. I mean, I'm cleaning his house for him. He should be out of water real soon. I can't see it. Uh, it's... Yep. Yep, that's it. Yeah, go ahead. It was shutting down automatically. You overrode it. Oh, oops. Yeah. Yeah, you're fighting it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> it said shutting down, and then you were like, I kept pushing the button. Yeah, yep. it's like, they let it shut down. Leave me alone. Okay. So we need to refill the water tank and also empty the Ooh. dirty water tank. Yep. So you just Ooh. clean the sink and we can find out exactly how dirty it is. I just cleaned his sink yeah. too. Let me uh, come around the other side here. Okay. Okay. okay how dirty is it? Better not be that Let's bad. Let's take this out good. first. Yeah, bit. that's fine. A little bit of... You, you can you just pick off the big junk and then just... I'll worry about it later. There's not much there. Yeah. He did a good job. Well, yep. what's like, yeah, there, there's what he accumulated pieces. today. Yep. Okay. So we haven't done the linoleum in, I mean, well over a month. Nasty. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Great not, water. Yeah, it's not that bad at all. Yep. So that goes to show you, like, his house is relatively clean. Mm -hmm. No dirt in this house. Uh. Go ahead and put it back together, and then we'll keep going. Rinse the pieces off. Rinse them off. Okay, there's that. Yep. Let's get some more. One down. Some and more water. Mm -hmm. H2O. Well. That gas hot water, it's like, woo! Yep. Mm, a little bit colder. It's a little bit too hot. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I don't want it to be like, I really, I want it to be like right in the middle. I just, I don't want to. I don't want the machine to be like, this water is too hot. Please cool off. And there you go. Except in her accent, water is too hot. Please cool off. You are burning the machine up. Yeah, I put it behind you. Now, I will actually tell you, I enjoy these kind of mops myself. 
I cannot get that in yeah, there. Yeah. You get, you, you, yeah, you go ahead. Help me, help me. You got that bottom in here. Yeah, and then just. <gasps> Was it pushing hard enough? Yeah. It has a seal. Push and click. Okay, it litter it. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Shutting down. Hey. No, down. You just pushed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't There's know how to work button. it. There you go. Go ahead. Boost mode. Boost mode. That's it. Okay. Now we get the little. Whee. This is the fun part. Look at that. <laughs> That sure is a neat effect. Still have seventy nine percent of the battery, so plenty of battery life, even on high. I did this whole relatively this whole area, like over in there, and right here in front of the sink and the stove. So I mean, I gotta go like right here. Yep. But yeah, the water. Now, I have a question. Ever since you have all these mops that have been donated to you, do you ever use an old traditional mop anymore? I don't think we have ever used a traditional mop. Or the last time we did would have been more than 30 years ago. Really? Yeah, so I don't remember using a, a, a bucket and a mop for an extremely long time. Gosh, I really come from West Virginia people, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I use a, uh, a battery powered stick back to get the surface debris that's right on the top. And then I'll use, you know, a cleaner like this to go and, you know, really dig in and give it, give it the old, you know, what for, so. So this is really what yeah, you... Yeah, this, this is it. This is part, part this, two of two. This is your mopping method now. Uh -huh. And I've got two of these, although they're different name brands. I'll take one if you don't want it. <laughs> these are becoming very popular uh, these days, and prices are coming down. I remember just a few years ago, they were typically over $500, and now they're, well, some of them are definitely half of that. Well, Bissell has their brand sold in, in the, uh, at Walmart. So, like, if you bought, like, a typical Bissell brand, yeah, you know, you can get one right at Walmart. I like to go around the edges, go around the outer perimeter, then work my way in. It's kind of the way I vacuum with a rainbow. I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> and no making fun of my bald head. No, okay. <laughs> okay, so no, no bald comments. Now this right here will be a good, a good area. Mm, come on. Oh, uh, that one's a permanent. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what's permanent, what's not. Yeah. That one's been there a while. That That's damaged, unfortunately. Battery is at 67%. So. 
I mean, if you were doing like a whole house, like 2,000 square feet, this probably wouldn't last that long. No, it wouldn't make it for 2,000 square feet, but it'll make it for like, say, 600 square feet. On high, on low, it'll go longer, of course. Um, do you want me to do the bathroom, or does nope. it need... Okay. Yep, so when you finish the, the hall here, that, that's it. You're all done. We just need to put it on the base and run it through its uh, cleaning cycle. And we can do another um, dirty water dump. And then that's it. Mini me over. Yeah, mini meat 31. Here Complete. we go. All right, let's try this again. All right. Shut down. <gasps> Shut down. Oh. I did it right. Yay. Okay. And of course, you know, your wet components, you'll need to um, I got a good, uh, like where my socks are a little bit damp, get like a shot like where I'm walking on the floor here. So you can see I'm leaving, I'm like, I'm tracking a little bit of water off my socks, but not a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. The, the floor is pretty much dry. So yeah, it's like, yeah. my socks are a little mm -hmm. bit damp, I can feel it, but yeah. it's not like, no, I, need I think we've got enough. Mm, okay, go, go ahead and up. do the dirty water dump and then fill, fill up the up. yeah, fill up the clean water tank because it uses more than you think to clean everything. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, it, it shouldn't really be that bad. And I stress this to people who have these mods, you have to clean these, otherwise they will build up with mildew. Yeah, and they'll stink. If you have one that smells like mildew, bleach water knock it right out anytime you have a mildew smell bleach my friend had the Bissell brand and he would not clean this out and he had it was so it pretty much started growing algae in it <laughs> So you can imagine how nasty that was. <laughs> so how well, how, how dirty was it? Let me get this out. I don't want dirty water going on it. Yeah, uh, just gray water again. Yeah, yeah very little. So it has been a month since you mopped, so it ain't, yep. it ain't been that bad. Yeah, we don't generate a whole lot of dirt here in Ohio. I mean, you can if you want to. See, it's like, this is goes to show, like, his house compared to mine. My neck of the woods, like, you can't keep clean floors in my area. You just can't. Like, it's like the dirt comes in itself. It multiplies. Okay, there's that. Right, one down. Now the search for the perfect water temperature. <laughs> I'm just you saying, just, it's all right, that's good. It's somewhere in the medium range. Fine. And I'm over here, I'm just like, oh, nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good enough. All right. Let's clean this hush yep, puppy. Yep, behind you. Oh, you keep sneaking up on me. <laughs> it moved all by itself. <gasps> Casper. Yep. There we go. That's it. All right. Give it a little thump. Self-cleaning time. Let's try this. Okay. Oh. Start charging. Starting charging. Yep. Now, if you want to do the self-clean, you can push the self-clean button. It's this yep. one, right? Uh-huh, yep, right down there. Make sure there is no water mm -hmm. in contact. Just sterilization preparing. Electrify in the water, literally. Yeah. Yep. And then once that's done, everything will self-clean. And of course, when that's done cleaning, I go take everything apart, uh, give it a little rinse, 
and then and then quick dry it. It'll soak the roller first. And then you'll see the dirty water tank begin to fill up. Right now, with there all that go. with all that I mopped, it's at 63%. Yep. So plenty of battery life. Well, for 224 square feet. For what it is. Yep. So you can take a look at the uh, playlist for this particular machine, the Miracle F1, and you'll see a whole bunch of other videos, including my wife using it too. She really liked this model. I think I, I, this one's my favorite too, Yeah. compared to the last one. Yeah, the Dream Tech, sure. Yeah, I like the, just, all you have to use is just water water only so well this one specifically says if you want to go and use the water disinfection uh electrolyzing i guess they call it then don't put any chemicals in there but it does not prohibit the use of chemicals so if you will have a favorite you know linoleum floor cleaner that's again non-bubbly you, you can't have it go in foam it's got to be you know like low low bubbles low foam you can use this in here and we tried that and it works fine but it says to be a, a low uh, foam type of solution. I actually tried the Dream Tech solution in the Miracle. It worked just fine. Hmm. There wasn't a problem with it at all. Yep, still plenty of battery life. So that's it. Um, we're going to go ahead and close out uh, this session of our mini meet number 31. So we've been doing this now for five years. Yes, it's, sir. It's amazing. And it all started with a comment on probably one of my videos. The rainbow D4C is what started everything. There you, that's it. I just looked up Rainbow D4C videos and I come across him. Thank you. And the rest has been history. To avoid odor. To avoid odor, yeah. I love the way she says odor. To avoid odor. <laughs> and then you just let it charge up as you're, you know, cleaning the rest of everything else. So, okay. So that's it. So you opened us. You want to go ahead and, and close us? Goodbye. Yep, goodbye. So happy vacuuming and remember share to stuff. share your stuff. Until next time, bye bye. <laughs>